What's up YouTube, Jeff back again from GoTechDaily.com. Today I'm bringing you guys a video that was inspired by some of my BlackBerry Key 1 and Galaxy S8, S8 Plus coverage. Uh, quite a few people have been asking in the comments and also on my social media, if you're thinking about getting the Key 1, why don't you just pick up a Galaxy S8 or an S8 Plus and just get the keyboard cover, keyboard case attachment, and then that will actually be a better phone because whenever you want to remove the keyboard, you can get that extra screen real estate for media, etc. So while that may sound like a good idea for a lot of my Android fans out there, I think most of the BlackBerry users who are trying to come over to the Key One already know why that's not a good idea. I want to explore in this video the differences between these two keyboards uh, and the usability of the two to show you why a lot of people really want to go with the Key One over something like this with a keyboard attachment. Now, I'm not going to do a full comparison of these two phones. That would be kind of silly. It's obvious that they're for two different audiences, but I'm just comparing the S8 as an alternative using the keyboard cover to getting the, the key one, which is something people have wondered about. So uh, let's talk about it. First of all, the obvious thing, the keyboard is built into the key one, so you don't have to carry around this attachment that's got this weird lip at the bottom of the phone. It actually makes the bottom of the Galaxy S8 Plus thicker than the key one itself. Also, when you remove it, you can either clip it to the back of the case, or you can just take it off and put it in your pocket. But either way, you're gonna have something additional that you have to carry around. Another downside to the keyboard cover and case is that this is the only case that it really works with perfectly because it's got some little grooves along the side right here where the keyboard cover itself clips on. So obviously the keyboard being built in is just a huge advantage for portability. Most people who are buying the BlackBerry Key One want the physical keyboard there at all times when they're typing. The next thing is the actual keys themselves. You can notice a huge difference. The Key One has backlit keys the Galaxy S8, S8 Plus keyboard cover does not. So as you guys can see, if you're trying to tarp and type in the dark, this is gonna be a much more difficult experience than over here on the Key One. That's probably the biggest reason of all the ones I'm going to list. The next thing are the gestures and customizability. You also have capacity of swipe gestures. You can swipe left and right. If you go into your Twitter feed, for instance, you can swipe, swipe up and down to go and scroll through your Twitter feed. You can actually swipe up using autocomplete. You can type, hey, and then how, and then swipe up in the middle, it'll do autocomplete for you. Obviously nothing like that on the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. There are some hot keys, so don't get me wrong, there are some things you can do, shortcut keys by pressing, long pressing on a key, etc. but nothing like the capacitive integration that you have on the BlackBerry Key One. The next thing are the actual keys themselves. The keys feel very different on these two particular phones. I can type much faster with the BlackBerry Key One, not only with the swipe up autocomplete gestures, but also just with the tactile and clickiness of the keys. The Galaxy S8 keyboard cover sits on top of the screen, so when you press down on this particular cover, what's actually happening is the keyboard is pressing down on the screen. It just doesn't feel nearly as good. It's not as tactile, not as responsive as what you get on the BlackBerry Key One. I think that's a huge reason for BlackBerry fans to go with this device. And then the final thing, which is probably a very important one as well, is that with the Key One, you get BlackBerry's uh, software actually built in that does autocomplete, uh, personal dictionary. It actually learns very well. The BlackBerry keyboard integration with the physical keyboard itself is much better than the Samsung keyboard. And when you use the keyboard case with the Galaxy S8 or the S8 Plus, you're definitely gonna be forced to use the Samsung keyboard. So you cannot use Gboard or another third-party keyboard. You're gonna be stuck with suggestions from Samsung down here at the bottom, which is not something I like. I don't particularly like the quality of the Samsung keyboard. And actually, if you notice, one thing I just noticed, this is on an, on a side, you can actually see a little bit of the pink tint in my Galaxy S8 here. I finally see it next to the, next to the Key One here. You can see it's got a little bit of pinkish tint. So I never noticed it really much until now because I was comparing it to other Galaxy S8s and my G6, but you can see that this one's actually so cool on the BlackBerry Key One. I can definitely see some of the differences there. Still doesn't bother me when using one phone at a time, but it is there. All right, so with that aside, those are the reasons that I would say you need to get the Key One if you want to go with a physical keyboard. There's really no reason to get the Galaxy S8 with a keyboard cover if the physical keyboard is your main need because there are so many advantages to what the Key One offers over the Galaxy S8. The only real advantage to the S8 is you do get a little more screen real estate even with the keyboard cover attached. And also, of course, if you remove the keyboard cover, then you have that huge screen on the S8 or the S8 Plus for watching media. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe if you did. You can find me at dopetechdaily.com, Google+, Instagram, and Twitter at the links in the description. 
I appreciate you guys checking out this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.